No, it was, uh, it was a great. <laughs> Imagine working with this. Are you still corpse and shocking on stage? Um, I have my moments. Oh, Brian, you, know. you have loads no, of moments. No, I, don't, I, I don't make myself laugh more than... Uh, we had one night not so long ago where one of the uh, actors actually... Uh, it, bless him, he was the understudy and he forgot to turn up. So <laughs> we... On stage, so we had this moment that all actors dread, you know, where... Basically, we had to kill about about. It felt like forever. It was probably about six, forty seconds. Yeah. You know. So I just went into the act. You, yeah. How's that now? Yeah. What, you went out and did the act. Yeah. No, I just uh, I don't like that Connie Cullen show because um, this is a show that uh, my daughter Tracy Turnblad is desperate to be on, and we're waiting for her. So you wait until your your father turns out. If you, when your father turns out, I'm, t- I'm going to have a woman. You wait until you wait until you. I'm waiting for him to come on. Yeah. He's not come on. So I thought, right, I'll go into the act now, and I talk talking about this show that Tracy wants to be on. I go, well, and let me tell you about that show. I feel that that show falls between the ethereal quality demanded by the intellectuals and the cultural necessity of the urban lifestyle in which you grew. Because it's a show of participant elimination involving assessment and placement among Australian information. Of course, uh, Chloe, she's like, what the hell is this <laughs> coming out of his mouth? He's lost the plot. Um, so I waffled on and luckily, you know, it worked out fine. Yeah. So what are you doing between when you leave Hairspray? I'm you? going to do... Uh, a bit of thigh slapping. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go do a cruise. Oh, are you? Caribbean. Oh, you know what I mean? Well done. Me and the <laughs> missus. All paid for. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so I go on a Caribbean cruise for a little while and um, and then I'll go to South End. Oh, I'll go, are you <laughs> what panto are you doing? I'm doing uh, Cinderella and I'm, I'm... Well, I'm not buttons, I'm Velcro. <laughs> uh, because I'm oh, pushing it into the 21st century yeah. now, so... There you go. I mean, that's something I love. It ticks all the boxes for yeah, me. Yeah, I know you do. You know, yeah. I love the bit with the kids at the end. I really wind them up, you know. I go, oh, is Mummy and Daddy here? And they wave. Where's Mummy? And I go, so when Daddy's at work, does Mummy ever have friends around or anybody come <laughs> out? You know? <laughs> And I cannot tell you what sort of things they come out with. So, I mean, ah. looking forward to... You must be popular with the wives. Whoa, have you got <laughs> certain things to hide? <laughs> have you seen what? this? Oh, no! <laughs> That's me! Uh, when what was is this? That? Is that a school report? 1976. That's yeah. me, ladies and gentlemen. Look Wembley at High. Head. Yeah. Oh, don't. Fantastic I mean... soprano voice. There I you go. I say. I Rang even... up. What? I... It says something about an operation. Oh, oh no. Sang up. <laughs> sang opera. I can't say with these. I, I sang opera. I used to, you know, I used to, yeah, I used to have quite a strong operatic voice. My father was a uh, a, a really good opera singer, was he but in never the business, took it out. Dad? No, he was a cab driver. I wasn't. You know? <laughs> But, you know, he could have done it. He yeah. could have done it. How but, come um, you and your brother then went into showbiz? Cos Alan here, this is his brother. Yeah. Oh, uh, Wendy here, our floor manager. That, yeah. yeah. So how come you two both, you know, you went on the boards? I, I mean, for some time as well, my father worked as, as a rigor supervisor at the BBC. My sister works in television as well. Yeah. And my mother used to be a dinner lady, so we've actually got our own outside broadcast unit. <laughs> So if you ever want us, we can get it all out there and do something for you. And at the at a moment's call, we're like like the SAS of the outside broadcast unit, oh, God, and we please. keep it all in yeah. the family. Yeah. But no, I mean it's wonderful. And everywhere I go, oh, well, and of course Alan, his wife's just about to have a baby. I know. She's been living in labour for four days. They forgot to take her tights off. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen, please. Uh, I believe I believe it's a natural birth, uh, no makeup, and. Uh, <laughs> It's going to be great. And when it pops out, they're all going, it's a puppy! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> have you had that shouted at you yet, Nurse Ray? I have, yeah. I'll go for getting Johnson when they shouted us. that. I know, we're oh. doing this song I'm playing, a 22-stone Baltimore woman, <laughs> and I'm talking like, fat, keep a fade, you know, and all this. People go, it's a puppy! <laughs> I just want to go, ah! Oh! And just splatter <laughs> them, you know? Just safe across the audience. I know, yeah. but, you know, it's part of it. Pays the mortgage, so, yeah. you know, I'm quite happy for Did you do a movie with Batman? I'd done a movie, yeah, with Christian Bale, a yeah. film called Equilibrium, yes. Oh, it wasn't a Batman film? Uh, no, 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 it was ah. a film just before he'd done... Uh, I've done one with Cathy Bates as well, Oscar winner. Oh, you know what oh, I mean? Star, you know, know like... during, uh, including radio and rep, yes. I've done about three weeks in showbiz. <laughs> um, no, it was nice being on the set with him, 
Uh, the weird thing was he very much stayed in character. He would talk to me because he's from Wales. Yeah. You know, Christian Bale, Batman, is a little Welsh lad and he's talking a Welsh accent. How oh, are you? Nice to see you. And I know oh, he's a puppet. You're all right, Christian, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, um, but then it, it, as soon as the director came in and said, right, Christian, we want you to do this, he would immediately go into his character and talk in a... And stay like that all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a bit like you. I'm you like know, that. you are like... Because this is like... This is a character. He's not really like No, that. I'm very He's posh. very well spoken. Oh, I am. Posh. Eaten, educated. I can tell. Yes, yes. You know, and he got his D-mob suit on. Yeah. You know, he's ready to rumble. <laughs> this is me, Dabs. <laughs> no, is it? <laughs> but I think good luck with this, Brady. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Jackman, please. Mr Brian Conley, come on. Thank you. Thank you. All right, then. Who's doing the nod and old? Oh, it's Ocean. Oh, very yes. nice, Ocean. Very nice. So who's the wig master on the show? They're wow. the best I know. wigs I have ever oh, seen. Soon. Yeah. Oh, Brian. These females, they're oh. wonderful. I get right with the right on me. So you going to do the hot dog? There you go, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's see. I don't want to... Right. Do you want me to read this out? I mean, they're tiny. Uh yeah, yeah, on, OK, yeah. I'll do that. Uh, so we've got Janet Fuller from uh, Hounslow. Congratulations <laughs> to Janet. Oh, no. And we also have Cam Ayrton from Manchester. There you go. Well, that's it for tonight. A big thank you to my guests. Toronto Blackman, come on, let's hear you. <laughs> to Brian Conley. Thank you. To Patrick Monaghan. And to all the cast of Hairspray at the Shaftesbury Theatre. Have a lovely weekend. On Monday, I've got Jackie Collins. A juggling roller skater. Yes. And uh, we find out how Dean got on when he had to swim in Norway. That's all. Live at five on four. See you then. Ta-da!